Hey yo! All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to be remapping the car to get rid of the engine management light for this bloody EGR. So a couple of years ago, I deleted the EGR off this engine, which is pretty much the same for every TDI. The problem is, once you've done it, you need to remap the car to get, stop the engine management light from popping on. So what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need one of these, which is an MPPS V16 USB interface. What that's going to allow your car to do is send the map to your computer and then what we can do is go to this website that I'll link in the description upload your, your current map to that it will then get changed you download it and then flash it back to your car with this so right let's get set up and uh, get this um, get this scene to so I need to warm the car up first after been sitting out it all night frills and so <laughs> what we're gonna do is the, the engine management light was reset just now and I'm just gonna see how long it takes for the code to reappear after being cleared so I'm gonna take it out for a burn get it warmed up and then yeah report back shortly it's frozen it's nearly it's naught degrees which is however much in Fahrenheit so I'll just reset the mileage. All right, I just I was going to show you how bloody cold it was outside, but you can't really do it. So let's get back in the car. So just driving now, and we've been about eight or so miles, I think, and it's still not reappeared. So I'll just do a quick lap of this area, and hopefully that's enough to make it pop back on. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, it's popped back on after 12. Or so miles. Let's head back and begin to the remapping process. Okay, so we're back at the drive. It's solid. So I'm just going to read the codes off my old phone with the Bluetooth fault code reader. Let's get this sorted out. Old Android phone and Talk Pro. You can't go wrong. So let's just get this booted up and plugged in and then see what the faults come off. Right, so that's got two codes. It's clear. Right, so yeah, two codes, and yeah, that's not. We got a new one, bloody L turbo. What is it? Overboost. So anyway, we're just going to be focusing on the EGR issue at the minute. So any time after a short driving period, it will reappear, but remapping it will stop it. Right, so we're going to have to plug in the power, as in for the laptop and the car. So we need the battery for the car on charge because when you're reading and writing the map, the ignition has to be on. So we got this plumbed in. So obviously, t you know, turn the fans off, the the lights, anything to conserve the battery. But it should be relatively safe with with the charger on. So yeah, let's get this all get this all plugged up and then um, get reading some maps all right so laptops ready and the MPPS v16 box is ready it's all connected up ignition on and yeah let's see what it does okay so we're in the software and what we need to do is um, find the one for our car so literally just select my car and it should I need to select my car um, uh, what we're going to do is oh, oh first we're going to read the map and then we'll go from there so what uh, what, what we're doing is creating a backup which we're then going to send over to remappers they're going to make the changes that we need and then um, re-download the map and add it to the car um, let's just see how long this takes so what I've selected is my car I'm now going to hit read which will read everything off the ECU and create a backup so I've always got the stock map to hand. Right, so right, so that's completed and now it's asking us to save the 
bin file somewhere so just save that in our location where we can forward it onto the remappers website I can't get it into focus okay so yeah that's in focus now right so that's now saved and now it's saying switch off key and then leave it for five seconds so let's just turn it off and then hit okay sorted right so ship this so here's the new map that we are going to flash to the ECU EGR off so exactly the same process apart from we're going to uh, be writing it to the ECU same settings so we'll just select that map and then open continue programming okay All right it's doing some stuff okay it's waiting for something so it appears to be doing something in the right corner um, ah yeah one percent so it's on its way it's been written to the ECU let's see how long this takes um, okay so yeah that's flashing away it's at six percent it's still going I'm actually quite nervous well it's taking a, taking its time and it's still flashing away well it's done 100 percent took 12 minutes and then it's the same thing turn the key off yeah okay job done right okay so that's it it's been remapped so what we're going to have to do now is obviously test it so we'll take it out for a spin and see what happens like we know that 12 miles or so it'll come back hopefully if we drive further than that then we're all good um so yeah let's go so it starts i've just driven for 20 plus miles and no engine management light looks like we're on to a winner so what we're going to do now is yeah take it back and yeah so i really need to look into this why the hot start it struggles to start once it's hot i need to look into that next you know it's all good if you enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see any more types of these videos i'll just quickly explain where to, you where i got this remap done from so i could do it off my driveway there's a website called remappers.com and if you go to that website you can look up your car choose the map modification you want and then pretty much repeat the process I've just done so pull the map off your car upload it to their website and then they'll make the changes send you the new file and then flash it to your car jobs are good and so yeah if you like this video please subscribe I'm trying to get to 1000 genuine subscribers without you know a lot of people pay for theirs now so give it a thumbs up or whatever that'd be sweet all right um, any comments and stuff I'll I'll reply so yeah nice one